Hello, my name is Jeff with Biorelief.com, and today we're here with Keith, Dr. Keith Marisek, who's going to be educating us on the best results of using a common catheter, and this is part one. Keith? Thank you, Jeff. Okay, so we want to talk about how to get the best results, um, the most success with a condom catheter. This is part one of a two-part video series. So, I have chosen the Coloplast Convene Optima condom catheter uh, because you definitely want the best catheter you can get so you do not have leakage or the condom catheter falling off. And this actually won the award for medical excellence. Um, what we're going to do is uh, just run through little tricks and tips that are very helpful to make sure you get the best possible success with a condom catheter. So, the first thing you want to know, and this is Mannequin Jimmy, um, is you don't want pubic hair to get stuck in there because there's adhesive on the inside of the condom catheter. So you want to trim, okay, trim the pubic hair that's around there, okay? Second thing is make sure that the penis is clean and dry. And don't use moisturizing gels, moisturizing creams, or talc. Just basic soap and water and then make sure it's thoroughly dry. If you have fragile skin or delicate skin, then you can actually use something called skin prep and you want the kind that's got no alcohol so it's called non-sting and you can dab that on um, uh, the area that's going to be in contact with the adhesive let it dry dab it on again let it dry dab it on again let it dry and form what i call a layer of fake skin okay that way when you roll the adhesive on it's actually stuck to the fake skin so when you're rolling it off it's pulling on the fake skin not your own if you are uncircumcised, do not pull the skin back. Leave it in its natural state. Now we're going to address the most important part, the key to condom catheters not working, and that's sizing. Okay, so mannequin Jimmy now needs to be sized. So sizing is critical to success with a condom catheter. If you use the wrong size, you can have major problems and you do not want to have an accident. So. Um, this is a measuring guide for the Convene Optima, and you want to um, put this on the widest part of the non-erect penis and figure out which one is the best fit. So the 30 looks good, 35 a little bit too big, 25 not quite. So 30 is the best fit. If you find that you're in between sizes, say 25 is a little too small, but 30 is a little too big. Do not go with the bigger one. Go with the slightly smaller one. It's made of silicone. It's expandable. So don't worry about uh, it being a little snug. Okay, so now we've established the diameter. We now want to figure out what length is appropriate. The Convene Optima comes in two lengths. Sport, which rhymes with short, and standard, which is the longer one. So the standard has about two inches more than the sport, okay? So you want to make sure that you use a sheath that has no excess on it once you roll it on, okay? So a lot of people will be fine with the sport. Some people that want some extra adhesive and have a longer penis will go with the standard. So Jimmy here is going to use the sport, okay? So now that we have the right length and right diameter, we're ready to go to uh, video part two. So if you just click on the link, you will be able to find part two of this two video series.